Welcome everyone, I'm Kimberly Boschman and this is the Intentionally Intuitive Podcast. In this episode, we're going to take a look at your forecast for June 2021. So what I'm going to do is, first and foremost, I'm going to break down the energies and the numerology for the collective that could come up and surface in June. And then I'm going to dive deeper into your personal life path number. So before we get started, I just want to mention that this is, of course, a general reading. If you would like a personalized reading, please book some time with me. My information is in the description box below. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into it. So the month of June collectively is a universal 11-2 energy. So this is going to be a time for pronounced intuitive insights and strengthening of intuitive and psychic abilities. So you may feel the pull this month to really tune into your own inner compass for guidance. Dreams can be especially vivid and intense during the cycle, so pay close attention to what comes up for you in your dreamscapes. And that can also be in daydreams. So they may hold viable messages for you. And so it's very uh, beneficial for you to spend some time with those dreams. And again, even your daydreams, if you, you know, journal about them, kind of feel into them and see see what messages they may hold for you. If you are struggling with deciphering that message and you'd like some assistance, I do I do offer dream interpretation. So just book some time with me and let's explore further. So this month you may find or we may find collectively that our emotions are particularly heightened during this cycle. So this isn't necessarily a good or a bad thing. It just simply is a reminder that we are emotional beings. And if something's coming in strongly for us this month, you know, happy or sad, what we feel may be good or bad emotionally, then it's because it's asking to be truly felt and experienced. So avoidance will not work here, and this will give you an opportunity to remember that through the emotions that are meant to be felt, that whole range of emotions, you know, they are not meant to control us or completely derail us, but they are meant to be felt and worked through and wisdom pulled from them, right, from that experience. So if you feel hyper emotional this month, you know, work on ways to feel the emotion without losing yourself within it or without staying sort of trapped within it, if that makes sense. Give yourself the time and the space and the grace to be able to feel what comes up for you, but don't get trapped there. Find your center and then continue to find your way back to it when things begin to feel a little too intense, okay? Not saying that if things get intense, you should fall into avoidance mode because sometimes it's gonna feel intense. But if you feel like you start to get trapped within your emotions or your emotions become um, more in control of the situation, then that's a time that that's your indicator to come back to your center, to find your balance. So you may, you know, you may feel a tremendous amount of joy and happiness this month. And if so, fully immerse yourself within that rather than sort of shaming yourself for feeling so good. Sometimes we have a tendency to do that. You do deserve to experience the joys in life. It doesn't always need to be about lessons, soul growth and work. (laughs) So there's plenty of beautiful soul growth to be had through enjoyment and bliss This month, if an emotion surfaces for you, allow yourself the space, the time to feel through it without shame or judgment. Too often, we and society tend to shame those who give themselves the opportunity to feel an emotion or express an emotion. So this, I think this month is going to come in pretty strongly. Those emotions that need to be felt and dealt with. And even those emotions that we don't allow ourselves to feel when it comes to happiness, joy, celebration, gratitude, whatever the case may be. So if there's an emotion that you have been tucking 
under the rug or not allowing yourself to fully experience whether it's good or bad. Not that there are necessarily bad emotions, but you know what I'm saying. This is going to be a month where I think we're going to have an opportunity to really feel into them and again, move through them in a way where we're not in avoidance. This is also going to be a month for decisive action. So this can feel a little bit uncomfortable if you're someone who is often indecisive. So sudden events may require very distinctive, decisive action on your part. So this is going to be a time to trust yourself and trust your inner guidance. Pay attention to your mindset and the attitudes around circumstances that surface for you and try to determine how a shift within those perspectives could produce for you a more desirable result in the future with those decisions that you make today. So if you're capable of channeling those energies into something more positive and worthwhile, then you can really accomplish more now in this 11-2 cycle than in any other cycle that we experience. Master energy, which 11-2 is master level energy, equals master accomplishments if we work with the energy. So this month, when things come up for you, the thing to remember is, am I avoiding this for some reason? And if I am, why am I avoiding it? And that can, again, be about emotions, difficult conversations, decisions that need to be made, whatever comes up for you. If if you find yourself in avoidance mode, then that is a big indicator for you that you need to pause and find ways to face it head on, deal with it, and make those important decisions, those elevated decisions that are going to help promote something much more beneficial for you in the future and in the days to come, in the days, the months, the weeks, and years to come. So this is a big month. This is a big energy. And so again, it's always what we choose to do with it, but I anticipate that we'll be feeling some master level energy surface this month and we'll have some opportunities to really master those energies in the way that we are capable of doing so in this time at this time. So, all right, so let's go ahead and get into your particular life path number. Okay, life path number nine. So I pulled an animal spirit card for you all and you got deer spirit. And deer's message is bring a gentle touch. And so what I'm really feeling with this energy is you may have an opportunity to use your discernment in how you show up to a relationship. So this could be a call for um, forgiveness, for compassion, for grace, for understanding that where that person is at on their journey may not be where you're at on your journey, and they may not have the tools to be able to show up to the relationship in the way that you may need them to. And so can you, without compromising your integrity, can you find some compassion for their journey, some understanding, some, again, grace for where they are at on their path, and maybe release any judgment or bitterness around their, what they're capable of at this time. Because remember, you know, you, you're going to see things through your your own filter, through your own lens, and just like they're going to do as well. So you may not be showing up for them in the way that they may need you to show up for them, but not because you don't want to, but because you just don't have the tools or the emotional capabilities to be able to do that at this time. That's all part of the journey. That's all part of the soul growth, right, is to be able to acquire those tools to be able to connect with others in a way that doesn't have extreme expectations or, you know, unrelenting judgment and you know lack of forgiveness so I just feel like with deer spirit you think of a deer and they're so sentient they're so gentle and so that's what you're really being asked to embody at this time again without compromising your truth or your integrity but allowing others to move through their own journey without 
adding the burden of judgment from you or, um, you know, or, 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 or putting bitterness onto the experience, if that makes sense. So I just feel like you're going to have an opportunity and actually it looks like it's going to be at the beginning of the month <laughs> to really like bring your compassion, bring your understanding. And that doesn't mean that you have to be in a physical relationship with this person, friends, romantic, colleagues, whatever. You can choose to remove yourself from the situation. But that doesn't mean that you have to remove yourself and leave a bunch of bitterness behind and a lot of judgment, judgment and, and resentment. So I think you're going to have an opportunity to choose how you handle a relationship and how you choose to move forward within that relationship or even outside of that relationship. Because remember, even if we're not physically in a relationship, a lot of times we're still in some way energetically connected and so how do you want that energy to feel? Do you want it to be full of judgment and bitterness or do you want it to feel light and full of compassion and understanding and forgiveness? So as I look at the month ahead, I broke it down into four weeks and I can see that coming in really, really strongly around relationships at the very first week of the month. Actually the first and second week, but the first week very, very strongly. I feel like for some of you, you're gonna have an opportunity to heal a relationship that maybe um, you know, you maybe went into some kind of separation or maybe there was some kind of anger, resentment, bitterness. Um, again, judgment, you pick the lower vibe energy and insert here. But <clears throat> I feel like this is going to be an opportunity for the two of you to come together and sort of see eye to eye. Even if you still don't agree on the topic, on the belief, um, on the opinion, even if you don't agree on it, you can still find harmony within the interaction. And so I feel like you're going to have an opportunity to do that at the beginning of the week. And it all comes back to you and how you choose to participate within the relationship, again, whether it's physical or energetic. And that's going to make all the difference for you moving forward. I always say, and I mean, I know this sounds a little cliche, but I've experienced it. It's so true that when we forgive someone, when we can up level and reach a a space of unconditional love for that person, which is not easy to do as humans, but if we can do that, and we don't even have to get to that level, we can just get to the space of, I forgive this person, it becomes so much, and truly forgive them, not just the, you know, not just the lip service of forgiveness, but the true releasing of that person from whatever action took place. If we can do that, if we can get to that space, then we free ourselves right? We begin to move through our own journey much more lightly and we're not pulling this person's energy with us or that bitterness with us. So I just feel like you're going to have an opportunity to maybe flex that muscle a little bit at the beginning of the, the month. And one thing with nine energy, nine energy for life path nines, you guys are the humanitarians. When you're at your highest expression, you are exuding that humanitarian energy where you know you don't hold a grudge you you easily forgive you and it come it begins to come really natural for you um but when you are sort of in your lower energy which we all go through with our you know with our with our life path numbers we all experience all different levels of that that energy but when you're in your lower energy you're more uh, quick to judge, um, quick to hold a grudge, right? It's it's more difficult to forgive somebody. Um, you kind of stay in that that victim mentality of, well, they did this to me, so I'm going to hold this grudge and not give them any grace. And so it's just the lessons that the soul needs to move through, or the or the the human needs to move through, right? The soul's already whole. But anyway, so I just feel like this beginning of the week you're going to, or the beginning of the month, you're going to have this opportunity to sort of experience that and just be aware of it, right? So like if a relationship enters your awareness and you're like, oh yeah, I definitely have some things to work through here. I definitely am holding some, holding a grudge here or holding resentment, then that's your cue to decide how you want to work with that to find your harmony. Because it's like, again, if you can find that forgiveness, if you can find that compassion and that kindness and that grace, even when you don't agree with that person, even when you hate the actions of that person, <clears throat> you will find a tremendous amount of joy through that. 
<coughs> excuse me. And so I think you're going to see that come in the beginning of the week or the beginning of the month. So pay attention to that. This, of course, is a general reading. So it's not going to come in for everyone. It feels a little specific. For others of you, this may be a time where it's about meeting some kind of a soulmate. So you may be meeting some kind of uh, some another individual who has a soul contract with you who you know, ultimately every relationship that we enter into in this lifetime will teach us something about ourselves, will help us to uncover some wisdom from within that we weren't previously aware of. So I feel like for some of you, you may meet a soulmate at this time who has a contract with you to bring help bring you to your highest expression, right, through your own work. So, and this could be the start of something really, really beautiful, a marriage, children, family, that sort of thing. Um, this could be a very significant encounter for some of you. So keep your eyes peeled if that's meant for you. It will find you, don't worry. Second week of June, we have this energy of like collaboration and I feel like this could be a busy time for you all. And again, this is going to feel like when I talk about like having that gentle you know, um, energy and that compassion and that kindness, I feel like this week, the second week of June, <clears throat> it's really going to be more about you having that for yourself. So being kind to yourself, being understanding to yourself. If you can't get all the work done, if you can't meet the deadlines, if you feel like you have too many choices to make and, you know, feel overwhelmed, be really gentle with yourself this week. I do see opportunities for collaboration. I do see work coming up, um, maybe working with others, stepping into some kind of a leadership role, others coming to you for your expertise, and you kind of maybe feeling a little bit overwhelmed by all of the decisions you need to make. Because remember, this 11-2 energy of June that we're all in collectively really is going to ask us to make very decisive um, decisions, right? So like to use our own discernment and to use our intuition in making those decisions. And so I feel like you might have an opportunity to do that when it comes to work or how you share your gifts with the world, that sort of thing. But I also feel kind of like this chaotic energy of like, or overwhelmed kind of energy of having a lot of decisions to make. And so what I would say in that energy is to trust yourself. Go from what, you know, come from within through your, your own inner compass, follow your intuition to make those decisions. The more that you ask for outside opinions in making this decision or these decisions, you're going to convolute the experience. And so it's kind of like, and then you're going to have so much to choose from that you're, I think you're just going to feel overwhelmed. So really go from within. You're not going to make the wrong decision. You will always make the right decision based on your current experience, right? And you can always change direction later if you need to. So be kind and gentle with yourself as you move through this energy. But it's really, po it's a positive energy. Like I said, it just feels kind of busy. Like a lot of people are going to need you maybe being pulled in a lot of different directions for work, that sort of thing. Feeling like the weight of the world is on your shoulders type thing when you have to make some of these decisions. But again, you know, these people are coming to you for your expertise. They believe in you. They value you. And so you need to do the same. Third week of June, I'm seeing this energy around um, feeling like you have some kind of justice served around something that you've been working really heavily on. So if there's something like if you've been doing some emotional work, if you've been doing um, some physical work or whatever, showing up in purpose, but you know, you've been putting in a lot of effort and maybe haven't seen the tangibles come through for that. Um, or been waiting for some answers on some things or things haven't been clear, I feel like you're going to get that communication this week. And I think it's going to, um, again, kind of help things kind of come together and gel so that it makes more sense and so that things feel a little bit easier uh, as you move forward. So this feels good at like really good positive energy. The whole month really looks very positive. It's, again, how you work with the energy and what you do with it, but it looks very, very positive. Um so yeah, so I feel like you've got some um, reprieve coming the third week around something that you've been really busily working on, right? Like something that's really been taking up a lot of your time and maybe you haven't seen the, the fruits of those labors just yet. I feel like you, that's going to start to show up that third week and you're going to feel like you're getting some, again, some kind of justice or balance within the situation. So it could be also that like if something has been 
keeping you extremely busy, you sort of see that even out a little bit to where you don't feel so overwhelmed. Um, and then the fourth week, I see sort of like these shifting sands. It's kind of like, again, a big call to go to your intuition because I feel like things are going to be shifting for you, kind of like the tables are turning. So if you've been going through a really difficult time, I feel like the tables are going to be turning and things, like I, like I said, are going to feel much more supported you I feel like the people the resources the things that you need to feel supported are going to start showing up um and it's also about like you going out and finding those resources right so it's like if you are in some kind of like a difficult situation it's about the resources are there right the things that you need are there but you need to use your intuition and you need to go out and Find them and find what works for you and what resonates for you and then go with that. So this is going to be a time of some soul searching, I feel like. But I feel as though if you can do that and go within, because you have, you hold the key, right? The, you within, in your intuition, in your soul, you hold the key to unlock the doors that you need to unlock to move forward in whatever it is, whether it's relationships, emotional experiences, physical experiences, you have all of everything that you need around you, but sometimes it's about seeking out those things and finding them and doing the discovery work. And so I feel like it's almost like you have this team energetically around you waiting for you to ask for assistance, tell the universe what you need, go out and find it in the physical, right? I do see like if you put in that effort, if you do that soul searching and you decide what it is that you need, and then you put the intention out there and then you... In, you know, use that intention to help progress, to move you forward, you will. I feel like, the, like I said, I see like this kind of like this shift in the energy where it's like the table is turning. So for some of you, if things have been going super smoothly, you may see a couple hiccups come in. And, so, and that's just the nature of life, right? It's like we live in polarities. It's like when things are really positive, sometimes the negative needs to come in to sort of balance it out because any extreme is can become toxic, even if it's too much positivity, right? Or too much negativity or whatever. So I feel like for some of you, if things have been going, you know, if you've been in, in the extreme of the positive, you may see some challenges come up to sort of help you find your own center, because that's ultimately what it's all about, is finding the equilibrium, finding the balance. Um, extremes of anything can, can have some sort of toxic effect on our journey so um but that's not a bad thing that's a that's a good thing to find our equilibrium and then continue to find our way back there when we see that we're falling off off um off kilter so this is a big week for following your intuition going within seeing how you feel and continuing to come back to that but understanding that you have so much support externally to help you in whatever way that you need to be helped. And again, whether that's physical or spiritual or emotional, however it comes up for you. But so this could be a time for more like um, introspection, but using that introspection to help move you forward in whatever it is that you want to move forward in. Okay, so I'm going to leave it there. And I would just say that as things come up this month, especially around relationships, Bring it back to dear spirit and just ask yourself, how can I show up to this situation, to this relationship in a much more gentle, compassionate way? How would I want this person to show up for me? Even, you know, if I wasn't showing up in the way that is at my own highest expression, how would I want this person to treat me? Okay. So, and I think that's going to take you a lot further than showing up to the relationship in resentment, anger, hatred, whatever. Okay. All right, nines, I hope it's a beautiful June for you all. Thank you all for your support. I truly appreciate each and every one of you, and I will see you all again soon. Bye for now.